In 2010, South Africa hosted the FIFA World Cup. Three years earlier, South Africa appointed a very expensive Brazilian coach, Carlos Pereira, with the hope of leading Bafana Bafana to glory. Despite only losing one game in the group stage, Bafana Bafana could not reach the next stage. But what if instead of appointing an expensive Brazilian coach, South Africa had given every kid in the country a soccer ball? They would not have been competitive at the 2010 World Cup and neither at the 2014 or 2018 events. But by 2022, an entire generation of exciting young players would have emerged. South Africa's strategy is also a lesson for economic development. Would a top-down industrial plan boost a country's fortunes? Perhaps in the short run. But this is not sustainable. As Johan Ferry observes in our long walk to economic freedom, wealth is created by empowering ordinary people with the economic freedoms to help them build better lives. Want to win an economic World Cup? Empower every kid with an economic soccer ball.